Hi everybody, this is Derek with Peddler Garden Center and Melissa's behind the camera. Hey guys! And today we're doing our house plant series and I'm covering spider mites since everybody liked that last video I did on mealybugs. I thought I would cover spider mites since it's one of the other top most common pests you find. This one was luckily that I found it as it was coming in, but it also gives you a good chance to see what they look like. The one thing I'm going to mention is Melissa's going to try to show you what they look like, but from a camera's view, it's going to be really difficult to tell. So I'm going to give you a couple tricks on how to spot it first, then I'll tell you how to treat it. One method is to take a white piece of printing paper and kind of set it underneath, like I, this is the paper, and shake the plant, and you'll go like that. A lot of times that'll be just enough to get some to fall off, and you'll look at the paper and you'll actually see them crawling on there. So that's one way to see it. The other is that it kind of looks like dust. Like I said, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it is there. Is that how you recognized it? When yes, it came in? yes, it looked like dust. And then if you look very close, you might be able to see a little bit of webbing occurring on there, which is another telltale sign. And the last one is the leaves kind of look dulled in color at first. They just kind of, they don't look quite right, if that makes sense. Yeah. So that's called stippled where you can, if you looked really close, you'd be able to see the damage in there, but from our eye, it just kind of looks dulled in appearance. Um, if I were to let this go and did nothing, it, the whole plant would eventually turn brown. It would lose all of its leaves. So the good news is we spotted it and we're going to treat it before it goes in. Um, and then it will be quarantined and all that too. So how you treat it, there's a couple different ways you can treat it. This is what I do. Oh, another thing to show you too before I go too far. I wanted to, just in case you couldn't see it. What do you have there? It, these are baby wipes. So it's just ty typical baby wipes you would buy. And I like to use these because it keeps pests away, but I'm going to wipe a few of the leaves off so I can show you some of the discolored part. And I'm gonna just do one more. And you can kind of see on there, it looks green. That is the spider mites and the damage they've that has happened to it. So basically it's a little bit of plant juices. Um, so that's what it looks like. And that's one of the ways you know it's on there. So would if we can see that. Would you get that color if you just had a dirty plant? It would be, so it would look brown, but you can kind of see that it's more green. So I guess, yes, there will be something that comes off of it from a dirty plant, but it would mostly be brown in appearance or kind of white chalky. Um, this is green. So that's how you know there's something going on with it. So the first thing that I would do is the spider mites have a natural enemy and that is rain and water. Um, spider mites live outside and that's where they come from. They're one of the most common garden pests, but they come inside every once in a while through a screen in the window or an open door. Um, they don't have any wings, so they have to kind of travel by means of something coming in or getting on the person's clothes or coming in on an infected plant. Um, but they like dry weather. So there's two times of the year that I've noticed they're popular. Once is in the winter, right when our heat is turning on, the air dries out because they like dry conditions. They don't like humid conditions. And the other time of the year is like kind of the middle of summer when it's really hot and toasty, especially if it hasn't rained for a week. That's another time they can pop up. So that's when. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I would take this plant outside and turn it to the side and hose it off really good. And remember that spider mites live on the underside of the leaf. Do they ever live on the top of the leaves? Yes, they live on both. So you're gonna get the undersides and the top. So you really need to spray it off good. A lot of the spider mites are naturally going to succumb to that because they just, they just don't, they're not very strong when it comes to water. So a strong stream of water will take care of most of it, but there's still more I'm going to do. So you're this using is like a hose to do this? Like yes. an outside hose? An outside hose, you can use a watering can too if you want to, okay. but I find the stronger the pressure to a degree, the better. So I wouldn't do it like the pressure you'd use to wash a car. Or not so. a power washer. No, definitely not a power washer because it probably isn't going to be, you'll get the spider mites, but you'll, the plant will be gone too. So okay. don't do that. But just a hose that you would use to water it outside with, just do that both sides, tip the plant over to the other side and do that side like that. Um, again, you're just trying to really wash it off. If it's winter, can I do this inside my sink or in my bathtub yeah, shower? Yeah, yes you can, good okay. point. You can totally do it inside too, inside the sink if you don't wanna go outside and maybe you don't have access. Um, after that, let the plant dry for about an hour or so. And then there's a product that I'm gonna recommend here that you can spray on afterwards. So the spraying gets rid of most of them, 
but this is going to take care of the rest. Um, insecticidal soap is one that I really like to use. And both the methods I'm showing you today are organic. So after it's dried, you just spray it on again. You want to get kind of low, so you'll spray like this. And you'll also spray like this in two angles to make sure you're getting under the leaf and on top of the leaf. The way you spray these is the same for both. There's just two different products. Do you have a question? Do you want to like really drench the plant so all surfaces are wet? I would you need to drench the soil? Is it just basically the leaves? What does that look like? It's just the leaves and it's to the point right before it would drip off the leaves. Okay. So it's, that's how wet you want it to be. Um, that one's insecticidal soap. And this one actually does a few other pests too, so definitely keep it handy. Samples, white fly, and uh, scale would be another one. So it's a really nice product to have anyway. I have that one at home. I use you it. You use it. it. Yep, yeah. definitely. I've it's had to use it on some pests at my house from time to time. It's definitely one of my favorites. The other one is neem. The difference between the two is I feel like this one's a little bit stronger. Yep. So if maybe it's a if you, you caught it early, it, it's probably good to use this one. If it's a little bit stronger, you might want to go with this option. But the way you do it is the same, just spray up and down below. And with a disclaimer on it, you might have to do this more than once because sometimes you might miss a section of it and they start to repopulate because they do form rather fast. So don't forget to do things like pest checking and quarantining your new plants. And most importantly, when you see a problem like this, try not to get too freaked out because spider mites are very treatable in the ways that I just showed you. So. If you just follow those methods, you shouldn't have any problem with getting rid of it. You just might have to repeat it. Do you have anything to add, Melissa? Nope, I think you really covered it all, Derek. How can people reach us if they have more questions about spider mites or other pests? Yeah, there's a couple different ways. You can always comment on this video and I'll be happy to respond and let you know what the question is. You can stop on down. It's also a nice, easy way to do it. Um, you can call us. 515-981-1075 is our number. And then I have an email too, I'll just give it to you, D-E-R-E-K, and then it's at T-E-D-S-G-A-R-D-E-N-S dot -E -E com. Kind of a long email, but that's my email address. Yep. Those are all the ways you can contact us. Catch us on social at Instagram or Facebook too. So feel yep. free to drop us a line through any of those channels. Yeah, and you can always comment if you want to see another video. I actually have people recommending another one, so that's why I did one. So we're always looking for ideas. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See ya.